I started reading this book by Brian Cox on uh, E equals MC squared about that equation. I haven't got very really far to be honest, got so much other things to do, but uh, yeah, I guess I'm just kind of asking myself some preliminary questions which I hope this book will bloody answer. One of the ones is, you know, this thing about the speed of light, because the C squared on there refers to the speed of light. C is the constant, supposedly, for the speed of light. Uh, and we know that light travels around about 186,000 miles a second, and it's the fastest, you know, it's the, it's the top speed of anything in the universe. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. What, why is that then? <laughs> or more, more precisely, why, why is the speed of light the fastest? Why, what's the significance of it being light? I can kind of understand the logic there being a, a maximum speed, kind of. Um, and the relationship between speed and mass and those other bits that feed into that equation. But what's the role of light in that? Why happen to be light? You know, why isn't there a speed for light, which is a certain speed, and then there's a bit faster than that, and that's like the maximum speed. And what's the relationship between that, the fact that it is light that travels at that speed, what's the, what's the relationship between that and the way that light features in human perception and, and human consciousness? Because light is the stuff that allows us to see, doesn't it? And uh, you know, when we talk about seeing, we're really talking about light. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm bloody clear. I'm hoping this book will at least start to address some of those questions. But that's the, that's the first one I've got. Why is the fastest thing in the universe, the fastest speed, the limit of velocity in the universe? Why is it? Why does it happen to be the same as the speed that light travels in a vacuum?